no weapon formed against you shall prosper and no tongue that rises in judgment against you should be allowed to go scot-free without being condemned by you. The enemies are bent on ensuring that you fall into their traps. You must not allow this to happen because you have been given the authority to escape the traps of the wicked ones. Do not give room for the enemies to entrap you and keep you in their captivities. As we will be praying together, we'll be using the name of Jesus to fight against the devices of the wicked ones. The word of God says in Philippians 2 verse 10 that we have been given a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of that name, every knee must bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the devices of the evil ones against your life are destroyed. By the power in the name of Jesus, I cover all the pits that the enemies have dug for you to fall into. The wicked ones will fall into their own traps. The Bible says in Proverbs 6 verse 2 that you have been ensnared by the words of your mouth. I pray for you that you would not set a trap for yourself by the words of your mouth in the name of Jesus. I pray that the traps that the enemies have set for you in times past that are coming back at you are destroyed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 141 verse 9 that the Lord will save you from the jaws of traps of the enemies that have set for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will deliver you from all the traps of the enemies that have been set for you in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 91 verse 3 that the Lord will deliver you from the snare of the flower and from the noisome pestilence. I pray for you that the Lord will protect you from all the snares of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus and no pestilence will come near your dwelling place in the name of Jesus. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 6 says that you will come to your senses and escape from the snare of the devil and you will no longer do the devil and his cohorts bidding in Jesus name. I pray for you that the Lord will pull you out of the net the enemies have secretly laid for you. The Bible says in Psalm 124 verse 7 that your soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the trapper. I decree that the snare is broken and you have escaped in the name of Jesus. You will be sober and vigilant because your adversary who is the devil goes about like a roaring lion looking for who to devour. You will no fall ignorantly into the traps of the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. You will submit to God. You will resist the devil and you will be able to escape all the traps of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. You are of God and have overcome the world because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are always more than a conqueror against all the devices of the enemies in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pull you out of every trap and prison the wicked ones have placed you in. You will not be ensnared into serving idols in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord would make members of your family that have been entrapped escape from those traps in the name of Jesus. I decree that every financial bait that enemies of place for you will not prosper. You escape all the bait of the wicked ones because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I pray for you that the Lord would make you not fall into the traps of infidelity in your marriage in the name of Jesus. I scatter all the gatherings of the enemies that are gathered to set traps for you at strategic places in your life and I remove all the traps the enemies have set for you which will delay your progress in life in the name of Jesus the Lord will fight for you against the evil ones and you will hold your peace in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord for answering all our prayers for it is in Jesus name we have prayed amen do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel.
God bless you. Amen.